House Blend. <laughs> G'day, all humans. Welcome back to House Blend Season 2. It's your host, Callie Kragic here, and today we're featuring Bad Panda performing Night Owl.
Welcome to the House Blend, Bad Panda. Hi. Howdy. <laughs> Good to be here. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Um, so where did Bad Panda, what's the origin story of how that came together? Oh, um, God, it was such a long time ago. I kind of don't really remember. This is, what, probably the third iteration of this band. Um, we started when we first moved out to Portland from Washington State. Um, and I think I originally played bass in the band. And then uh, Chris obviously was playing drums. And then uh, kind of had some member changes and stuff. And then um, I ended up playing guitar. We got this guy who I've known for like 10 years now. Yeah. Um, happened. It's actually a funny story. I moved to Vancouver when I first moved out here. And I hit up Zach because I knew he lived in Vancouver. I was like, hey, man, what's up? I'm I'm in town. And uh, he's like, oh, yeah, where you live? And I told him, you know, the apartment complex mm -hmm. I was in. He's like, oh, no shit. I live, like, in the same complex. No way. We were neighbors. Right, yeah. And then I moved to St. John's, and he moved three blocks away. That's wild. Um, I just love Clay. <laughs> yeah. He can't, I can't escape him. Yeah. So I guess, you know, it was uh, kind of a long road to get to to this iteration of the band and but i think it's the best one so far so yeah well what what we've heard of uh i think incredible is an understatement it's just mind blown it's unfortunate it's too kind for the audience you know as a true jazz band there's a lot of uh improv that happens in between takes and man just every version that we got to experience you performing today was just fantastic so thank you so much for being here thank you um kind of <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, are you all Pacific Northwest natives? Uh, why do you go straight to me? Because <laughs> I'm well. I, I grew up in the California, the Cali, Ooh. hey, Cali Bay Area. But all my family's from up here. But I've been on the West Coast my whole life. You guys have been everywhere. I mean, are you native? Who are you? Um, Who's this guy? Um. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I was born in Portland, so. That, oh, that boring, for me. Next, I think he has a more interesting story. Yeah, uh, my dad was in the army, so mm. born in Oklahoma. I think you're from Oklahoma. Yeah, right? yeah, man. Yeah. That's so, so cool. So Fort Sill um, was born there, kind of in the Lawton area, and then yeah, yeah. moved to Saudi Arabia for four years, uh, and then moved to Germany for four years, then California, and then Olympia, Washington. Then went to... Uh, Washington State University and then found myself over here. So it's been a lot of oh. places um, that that Chris and I have been to and uh, before we settled in this area. But I got to tell you, been a lot of places. The Pacific Northwest is the best. Mm. Thank you. Uh, so Chris and Clay, you're actually the second sibling pairing that we've interviewed this season, um, which is just so exciting just to see family coming together and playing together. What has uh, the chemistry been like from whenever you started playing at a younger age to now? Yeah, we used to just jam in the garage and it was all just, I mean, we didn't know what we were doing, so it was just making noise. My dad would always be like, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then we went to school and we played together, played you know in different bands and yeah, but we've been playing together for a long time and I feel like you know, sometimes we can tell what the other one's going to do. It's fun. It's fun That's to play. Yeah. <laughs> That's fantastic. And are you two music majors? Yeah. Yeah. Did you both go to the same school together? We did, yeah. Oh, uh, cool. Which was in Washington. Right. Nice. That's so exciting. So did you actually have any class together or was it? We did. We had a few, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did I... Was there ever a point in time where one of you was worried about cramping other person's style at like social gatherings? Well, you know, I mean, we're not very cool people, so it wasn't really <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we do a good job of cramping our own styles. So. <laughs> so, so what point after graduating, or maybe when you were in school, that you started gigging out? Oh really? man, pretty much since the start. I mean, yeah, we we used to right? go out and just like steal the city's power and just plug into those outlets out on power poles and stuff and just jam. It's great. And have the cops on us all the time. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so now we know why you're a bad panda. <laughs> but yeah, pretty much right away. What's the history of Lockstep? I don't know. What yeah, that was a, a pretty short-lived band. We had um, 
Sean Goff, great saxophone player, um, great musician. He goes by uh, Kip, Kip Levy is yeah. his electronic Check music name. Check He's him out. Good, super yeah. great, super great music. Um, and Brandon Nelson, who's another cat around town. And we had a, a band that uh, that we gigged for a while. Actually, that's how we met you. Yeah, we we nice. were lockstep at uh, Eastburn, and we had we played a couple of gigs, and then uh, you know people kind of do their own thing. So we mm -hmm. we split up and um, focused more on Bad Panda. Okay, and what's what's your perspective of the jazz scene in Portland or in the Pacific Northwest? It's great. People are, uh, you know, people like to hear to hear jazz in Portland, which is great. Um, compared to other cities I've been to, it's you know definitely more welcoming in in the jazz scene in Portland than than other cities even in the in the Northwest. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What can you give us a comparison of like maybe? touring or getting in another place where you don't feel like it was as well received as it would be in Portland? Well, you know, I mean, people just don't listen. Sure. And they don't come out to shows. Um, that's pretty much it. Here people, they want to see live music. Mm -hmm. They're interested in it. Um, we could, it's unfortunate that a lot of the clubs uh, are closing down for different reasons. Um, but people are trying to keep it alive here. So that's, mm -hmm. it's really great. Mm -hmm. As clubs are like shutting down and you know, things are starting to slowly open up again. What's the evolution of the jazz scene been like out here in Portland from when you first started gigging to now? And what direction and momentum would you like to see it continue to build into? Well, I mean, the pandemic obviously made people, uh, you know, clubs couldn't, we couldn't have people playing and people coming into clubs and stuff. So people uh, moved more towards the internet and online streaming mm -hmm. services and stuff. And it was rough going in, at the beginning. They're starting to figure it out now. Um, a lot of driveway concerts and porch concerts and you know you, you're doing that kind of stuff too so it's really great um, and now that clubs are kind of opening back up a little bit we'll kind of just see have to see where it goes from here uh, but I think you know um, what I'd like to see in the future is first of all I'd like to get paid more <laughs> I think we, we, we would all like that um, and there's clubs around here that are trying to do that uh, but really we just need people to come in and watch us and and want to listen to what you know the jazz scene has to provide. Save our small venues, feed the artist, pay the artist. Pay the artist more if you can. Come out to the shows, buy their tickets, buy their merch, support as much as you can. Um, so you mentioned that it's had multiple ensembles. So what is the best, uh, the major difference in chemistry with this uh, group that you have here versus people you've played with prior? Um, I'll say something short about this and then I'll pass it on. But, uh, you know, I think my philosophy is just, you know, get people that you like and play with music with them and let them do their thing and you do your thing and then it all gel together. And if, um, you know, the, the personalities gel together, the music's probably going to gel as well. And, uh, you know, just let it be free and open. Mm. I concur. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I think Bad Panda was a trio before I mm -hmm. it was, yeah. was roped in. Um, but yeah, no, it was really fun because like, you guys all had like a really distinct sound already. And I had like done a lot of other kind of gigs and stuff. And so it was kind of cool to just slip in and like add support, make your life easier as a lead guitarist. So you don't I have to. <laughs> I know, right? You don't have to comp <laughs> while you're doing all that stuff. Um, but it's fun. And then like. Yeah, you guys already had a distinct sound, I think, like when we kind of joined up. Like, we're all, we started writing a lot more originals, I think, mm -hmm. since kind of it's been a quartet. So that's been kind of fun just to like, you already had a sound, but we kind of expanded upon it and we each brought in our own kind of original tunes. Like, the two we recorded today was cool. Night Owl was his tune, Funky nice. Line Dance was my tune. These guys have other tunes too. That's for the next session, though. <laughs> yeah. It's exciting. Yeah. Do you have anything to say about yeah. Panda Folk? Well, I was just going to say that, um, you know, we all like hanging out with each other. Like, it's not just we get together and play music and then we go our separate ways. We like hanging out, and I think you can hear that. Yeah. So that's pretty much it.
We're going to move on to the next segment of our program called the Cali Cap. So you know you know each other pretty well, but you may not know everything about each other. The Cali Cap is a random assortment and array of questions, some offbeat, some quirky, some more thought provoking, for the band to ask each other. Uh, so what I will have you do is just pull a question out of the cap, pick any of your bandmates here to ask that question. Uh, my only request is that you don't overload all the questions on one bandmate and that you mix it up a bit. All right, Zach, I got this, uh, this question for you. If you were about to fight someone, what would your fight song be? My fight song? Uh, it would be, um, what's that one song where the gal talks about, I'm on the deep end. Oh, that's... Uh, that's Lady Gaga. Yeah, Lady Gaga. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd, I'd go with that. Gaga. Yeah. Gaga, Gaga. Yeah. Gaga. You let us know at home. That'd be my choice. Cool. Just just the Lady Gaga part, or you want Bradley Cooper as well? Mm, I feel like I'd be fighting Bradley Cooper and probably not win. Mm. <laughs> he's pretty so, buff. Yeah, he's uh, scary. Do I, uh, do I take one of these? Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay, oh, yeah. you ready? You get to choose who you <clears throat> Oh, this is a good one. I'll give this one to uh, to Michael. What is the difference between a good panda and a bad panda? That's a really good question. It really comes down. Oh, thank you. It really comes down to diet. So um, it's about you know how much bamboo do you intake on a regular daily basis, uh, how much junk food and snacks, and you kind of take that ratio. It should be like I think like three to one, bamboo to like funyuns. Yeah, they just updated. Dude, sick. <laughs> So we're actually, I'm actually secretly a good panda. These guys all eat mostly funyuns, I think, but. It's my only. I'm on a strictly bamboo diet. I don't know about you. I'm on a strictly funyun diet. Ooh, <laughs> that actually explains a lot. <laughs> That's a good question. That was a great one. Wow. Take your pick. Let's see. Oh. You know, this is something I've actually been dying to ask Clay for a long time. Would you rather have a salad head or... A salad head? Yes, let me finish the question. Though. <laughs> Would you rather have a salad head or broccoli arms? I'm going to go with the broccoli arms. Yeah. Like broccolini or like straight up broccoli? Full on broccoli. Yeah. Like some sick licks with that head. Sick licks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a good question. Stompers. All right, what do we got here? Mm. Hmm, let's, let's go, go with, with uh, we'll go with Clay. No, let's go with Zach. We'll go with Zach. If you could be any inanimate object for a year, what would it be? Mm. Oh my God. That's hard. For a whole year. Oh man. That is a stumper. <laughs> uh, an adamant object. Does that count? Can it? Does like a tree count? Or like a plant? Yeah, trees are technically alive. 
Yeah. I know. I know. Some... I guess like a, 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 an Ikea desk. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's roll with that. The one, the one that everybody has. Got yeah, you know, yeah. Stuff. That one right there. <laughs> Seems wa valued, taken care of, so. A nice table. Dependable, mm -hmm. balanced, everything you need. It's a fantastic answer. Oh, I think you have to have that. We'll just do... That is correct. Yeah. All right. Okay, Chris. Who was the first celeb you met? I don't know if I've met any. Well, I guess I'm sitting next to one right now. Oh, well. <laughs> I mean, he's pretty famous. Uh, I think so, All right? Nice. Because you, uh, you were in, like, that movie from the 70s with the funk bass, right? Oh, uh, Shaft? I don't, know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, I don't know who you're talking I, that, about. You, I think that was it. Yeah. <laughs> if you're a fan of Shaft, and you can find yeah. an image of Michael. Really it, there. <laughs> it wasn't the one in theaters. It was a, it was it was a straight to video. Yeah. 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 If you have the VHS of Shaft, <laughs> we have your man here <laughs> for you. That's right. You got a question, right? Oh, right. Yeah, here you go. Thanks. Let me see. Mm. Uh, mm -hmm. I'll sound it out for you. Please stop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Clayton, if animals could talk, which animal would be the most boring? The most boring? Boring. Uh, into the mic, sir. Probably a boring beetle. Ooh. I was thinking similar. Yeah. A boring beetle? Literally. I think they bore oh, through oh, the boring. through the earth. Yeah. Oh. The I could have just made that animal up. I don't know, but I think I heard that somewhere. Oh, real oh, snap. Big beetle guy over here. Big beetle. Guy. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Hmm. What's your favorite catchphrase, Zach? Oh, <laughs> You're gonna have to bleep that out. And it. You can't be gotta catch them all. You gotta pick something. No. Else. Um, it's a little dated, but I'm a, I've been a fan of the. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? That's like what the kids say. Oh yeah. Well, they did say it. it's not cool anymore. Am so. I saying it right? Yeah, I think you got it. Oh uh, yeah. Oh uh, yeah. You know, like uh, a call, it's like a call and response kind of deal. You yeah. Know? Like someone across the street. Oh yeah. Can I can I get a oh yeah? You know. <laughs> That kind of that kind yeah. of thing. Submit your video of your best. Oh yeah, and we'll pick our favorite. <laughs> Get us out of this. <laughs> <laughs> Get us out of this bit, quick. <laughs> you got that. There's numbers on there. What is that? Don't look, look at it. it. Easy. Peeping everything. Actually, yeah. I'm gonna ask you anyway. So, where is your dream location to gig, Michael? To gig. Mm -hmm. Oh, honestly, it would be just at my own house on my own piano <laughs> with like a friend or two over. Yeah, I don't know, it's actually funny. Like, I think you always play better just like with a buddy. Then you go to the gig and you're like, oh my God, everyone's there. <laughs> so if you could just, I guess I could have had that set up if I was live streaming this whole time, but instead I just sat alone depressed. Oh, sad. <laughs> we're happy to have you here. No, now. but it would be definitely like a living room that kind of casual house show set. Really oh, we're not now. ending there, are we? We can do a more uplifting one. I think that's the last oh, that's question. Are you serious? <laughs> oh, God. So, Chris, would you rather have a salad head <laughs> or broccoli arms? Well, I think I got to go with salad head. Yeah, broccoli arms. Like a Cobb good. salad or like a Caesar mm -hmm. salad or like a I'm Cobb right. salad? Wedge. <laughs> like a, wedge I don't eat salad. a lot of salads. I don't know. Are there other salads? Wedge. A, a, a wedge salad? salad. Yeah. Oh, like a pasta salad? Yeah. Does that even count as salad? Yeah, got salad in the name. You heard it here first. Fruit salad. Pasta Fruit salad. salad. There we go. Yeah. Fruit salad. Yummy, yummy. Mm -hmm. Bad panda. <laughs> All right. Do you have any parting words for the humans that may be listening or watching? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Take it easy or take it sleazy. That's what we always say. We say that. No, we can we try? Who, who's got another one? Take, 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 what's your favorite catchphrase? Um, my favorite catchphrase would be, uh, that's how the news goes. That's how the news goes. That's yours. <laughs> we're going to take the best one of these and we're going to, in post, we're going to make it be the end. <laughs> yeah. 
putting me on the spot here, man. I, <laughs> I don't know. It takes two to tango. Good one. That's I guess it would be no. No. Yeah. We're still on parting words, right? Yes. Oh, yeah, I thought we were. Yes. To, yeah. I thought we were trying to do like like a anchorman sign off kind of thing, or like so, and that's the, what, what does he say? Something about San Diego. Uh, uh, go. He says, eight. "Go fuck yourself, yeah. San Diego." Yeah. <laughs> he said that once. Um, Boop. Stay, stay classy. <laughs> that's what it was. Stay there classy. it is. Stay classy. Stay safe. Drink water. Call your mom. <laughs> She misses you. That's she, it right there. She misses that's you. It. I think that's the one. If you can actually edit the other ones out. <laughs> that would be great. Well, thank you, Bad Panda. And thank you, all humans, for tuning in once again for House Blend Season 2. My name is Callie Kragic, and this is House Blend. <laughs>